Thomas and the Trucks. Thomas used to grumble in the shed at night. I'm tired of pushing coaches. I want to see the world. The others didn't take much notice, for Thomas was a little engine with a long tongue. But one night, Edward came into the shed. He was a kind little engine, and he felt sorry for Thomas. Thomas, I've got some trucks to take home tomorrow. If you take them instead, I'll push the coaches to the yard. Thomas was delighted. Thank you, Edward. That will be nice. So they asked their drivers next day if they could change. And the drivers said, Whoa, yes. Whoa, yes. And Thomas ran off happily to find the trucks. Now, trucks are silly and noisy. They talk a lot and don't attend to what they're doing. They don't listen to their engine. And when he stops, they bump into each other, screaming, Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 whatever is happening. And I'm sorry to say they play tricks on an engine who's not used to them. Edward knew all about trucks, and he warned Thomas to be careful. But Thomas was too excited to listen. The shunter fastened the coupling, and the signal dropped. Thomas was ready. The guard blew his whistle. Thomas answered <laughs> and started off. But the trucks weren't ready. Oh, 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 wait, Thomas, wait. But Thomas wouldn't wait. Come on, shh, shh, come on, shh, shh. And the trucks grumbled slowly out of the siding onto the main line. Thomas was happy. Come along, come along, come along, come along, come along, come along, and the trucks grumbled, all right, don't fuss, all right, don't fuss, bong, 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 bong. They clattered through stations and rumbled over bridges. Come along, come along, come along, and they rushed through the tunnel in which Henry had been shut up. Then they came to the top of the hill where Gordon had stuck, and Thomas's driver said, Steady now, Thomas, steady. And he shut off the steam and began to put on the brakes. Thomas called out, We're stopping! We're stopping! And the trucks answered back, no, 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 no. And they bumped into each other. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. And before his driver could stop them, they pushed Thomas down the hill and were rattling and laughing behind him. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, long, 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 ha ha, long, long. Poor Thomas tried hard to stop them from making him go too fast. Stop pushing! Stop pushing! Stop pushing! But the trucks wouldn't stop. They just giggled in their silly way. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Bong bong! Bong bong! Ha ha! Thomas was glad when they got to the bottom. Then he saw in front the place where they had to stop. Oh dear, what shall I do? They rattled through the station, and luckily the line was clear, and they swerved into the goods yard. Thomas put his brakes on tight, and he skidded along the rails. Oh! <coughs> I must stop! <coughs> and he shut his eyes tight. When he opened them, he saw that he'd stopped just in front of the buffers. And there, watching him, was the fat director. Thomas, what are you doing here, hmm? Well, I've brought Edward's trucks. Oh, why did you come so fast? Well, I didn't mean to. I was pushed. Pushed? Haven't you pulled trucks before? No, 
Then you've a lot to learn about trucks, little Thomas. They're silly things and must be kept in their place. After pushing them about here for a few weeks, you'll know almost as much about them as Edward. Then you'll be a really useful engine.